I'm in my 3720. I've just installed the automotive cruise control. It had a button here. It was just decelerate and set. Now I've got resume and set. I can accelerate or decelerate one mile an hour at a time. You know, it shows here. I can also set my long travel when I let go of the pedals. Or I can set a short travel. Right now I've got it on a moment, so I've got it on long travel. This one, I can set this so like whenever I'm going, I can set it. And the little thing comes on the dash and it, it will maintain, you know, almost one mile an hour. I'm mowing. Let's see grass shooting out there once. So grass is not that it's not that uh, thick. I can do this. I can hit resume or can accelerate and hit it three times. And now I'm going, you know, point three more than I was. Same way to decelerate. Every time I click it, I lose a mile an hour. That's how that works. Now the max works a little bit different. I can set this thing on max. Then I can get going here. Let's say I want to go 1.2 miles an hour. So I'm footing it. All right, I say 1.2. Okay, so I'll press set. And so I let off, okay? I can push this all the way down. I mean, I'm floorboarding. And it, that's my max, 1.1. See, I'm all the way on the floor. I've got it on max. And so that works really well. So the next button is this one. It come with the uh, automotive cruise control kit. I can press this button here, and that is a uh, load match. And so I can't stall the tractor. What happens is if I'm running the loader, I've got to, I'm gonna put the factory one back on. If I'm running the loader and I've got a lot of foot in it, I could kill the engine. Let me, let me toggle down here while I talk. I could kill the engine, but if I've got the load match on, I can run the loader all I want, and then I can floorboard this deal, and it will back off the uh, you know the forward speed until it doesn't stall the engine. Really love this this setup. I really love it. I just got it going. Uh, you got a program. You'll use this button. You'll use the key, and then you'll use the turn signals to actually program through this. There's numbers and stuff that show up to program this and these things to be recognized. Otherwise, it won't work. But I love it. It was like 120 bucks. I love it. Thanks for watching.